Alright, welcome back to those watching on YouTube. Um, Jusane, yeah, Jusane asks, uh, what my favorite idea group is for this kind of mass conquest. There are four that you are really, uh, that you really critically need. That is admin, administ, yeah, you need administrative, religious, um, diplomatic, and influence. Uh, diplomatic influence really boosts your vassal annexations, and if you're not something like Moogles, that's critical. And administrative reduces your core cost, and with the policy that I have here, well, along with influence, reduces your diplomatic annexation costs. Uh, it actually can reduce it by 25% rather than 20 it says, as far as I've heard and can tell. But, um, so that's pretty significant. Religious just lets you very early in the game take provinces without spending diplomatic power. Um, you could just take uh, one into Deus Vaults, but it it also allows you to convert provinces. And if you are not Hindu or um, an Eastern religion, if you are Christian or Islamic, it can also pretty well keep you at 100% unity all the time without much effort. Uh, I do have to expend some effort because I'm Hindu and I only have the 2% conversion decision, so I convert really slowly. But otherwise, you can keep up with just religious and you don't even need humanists at all. But it helps. Humanist always helps. It's just not critical. So that's something to bear in mind. Um... Oh yeah, I was going to start uh, working this angle. So, I'm going to recombine these guys. And yeah, okay, they're they're trying to counter-siege me here. So, the thing to do would be to just rush occupations. Go for the 100%. Has this been five years? It has not been five years yet. Never mind. <laughs> no point. No point unless it's been uh, long enough. Might as well let my ships heal. Portugal is sniffing around out here. And while my navy is formidable, it is not uh, invincible. Ooh. Speaking of which, Portugal willingly engaged in this, which scares me a lot. I do have more heavies, but I don't know about this. Yeah. Well, my only issue with this is that I'm going to lose a lot of transport ships, so I'm just going to run. Really. We'll just do that, it's fine. It looked like I would win that naval battle, but I didn't want to lose units on my transports, so I didn't, I didn't go that route. Alright, Cape Coast has finished as a uh, province here. Go ahead and spam out some trade companies. And I'll send a couple guys up. Three should be plenty. I'll make the borders a little prettier here. Since there's not a lot else to colonize. And they roughed up my two deckers pretty hard. In addition to knocking out some of my uh, other troops. Or my uh, couple cogs. Before I ran home. So, when was this war started? 1672. So sometime in this game, in this particular year, I should 100% uh, them and kick them out. I also have enough ticking war score with Portugal that... Uh, oh, here. I have a stab hit. From me to you. Yeah, 25% war score or more, and they cannot... Uh, they cannot call allies in late. They'll they get a huge negative modifier on that if they're AI. Of course, a human can still come in late, but no, we have no reason to care about that. Mm. 
Griefing the AI is funny. Uh, I always hate that because I don't know where my... Uh, I don't know where my dudes are. When they die like that. Okay, so it's not there. Hmm. Alright, we'll just put them here. I mean, I'm getting reasonable generals now. Except for my, like, six maneuver guy who is nothing. <laughs> What's the matter, Portugal? You don't like your admin points? <laughs> Get cheese balled. Is Ming holding up okay to rebels? Yeah, Ming's holding up okay to rebels. Ah, my prestige. No. Why must you hate my prestige so? Too much uh, admin. I'm not gonna do anything to them. And there's no harm in it. And people get angry when you do this to them, but whatever. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Wait, I can path through. I'm fighting England as well? No. Oh no, they're pathing like that. Well, I guess. <laughs> right back to negative two stability. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Freaking retarded crap. <laughs> Oh, the Moogle area is managed. <laughs> Bit of a crapshoot, I see. Oh, this is one of those Murphy's Law things, too, where if you need them, they're less likely to work for you. It's not actually like that, but that's what it feels like. It's so fun to do. I love it when the AI goes derpy like that. No, we won't make peace. Oh, really? Really accepting mast stab hits. I guess they have religious, so it's pretty inexpensive for them. That's not important. As long as they don't unseize the tropical wood occupations I have, it's not going to be a big deal. I think it is about time, however, that I stacked up and re reoccupied Chakta. <laughs> My offer really is pretty generous, Portugal. You're getting frickin' rolled. It is a true, full-fledged base race. Now 
we got you. Got ya. <laughs> okay then. So we're gonna kick new granada out of existence. We'll take this, I guess. It'd be nice to take that as well. What do I need? I realize I'm playing with fire a bit here, but whatever. Linking up my CNs would be really nice. Well, we'll take it now. Oh, pretty close, pretty close. Better relations over time. Not too uh, interested in better relations over time right now, honestly. Okay. I want to actually seize this because it's almost finished. So I might as well. Just um, cover a couple areas, I guess. Quickly grab this. Because that'll let me uh, take. Ah, no, it's just Roma. <laughs> Lots of strategic concern for you there. Okay. Now, I can close this gap and take a few things in the Indian Ocean. A few nice things to have. Castile cannot have the nice things. I will have the nice things. And do I want to take anything up there? Probably not. Well, actually that wouldn't be bad as a staging area and something with which to reach Holland. Oh, no, I want Biloxi. Because Biloxi borders Holland and I could just land there. <sighs> well, you play with matches and you get burned, I guess. February 11th, February 17th. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> or maybe I'll take both of them. How about that? So that clears out New Granada, and it gives me all of the stuff with tropical wood that Spain is in possession of in the Pacific, as well as the better part of their entire East India route. And it's not that much overextension, even. Which is good, because a lot of this stuff is considered Asian, and will cost me uh, more normal, well, more normal core values. I do, after all, still have Moogle ideas with Tindu and Shiva, so I wouldn't say the cost is normal. Wait, why is this... Why, why do I... Why am I incapable... Oh, these are African! Of course! Anyone who's done African power should know that. This one I can raise autonomy in. Could even make a CN there. It'd be kind of fun to. They're not seeing a uh, client state. These are Asian as well. <laughs> These are Oceana, and so I will not be able to do much aside from make them in the trade companies. Okay, so. Quick look at the tropical wood now. Got Portugal, Russia, of course Brazil, 
got Holland. I think Holland and France are next if Holland is still allied with France. Otherwise, just Holland. The Mughal area. Yeah, England will have a bit. Oh, yeah, Yan. We're getting closer. We're not quite there yet, but we're getting closer. And we have uh, two provinces here where we can just set up all over Holland. And probably tear up Floride as well, but. Uh, Ah, there we go. Got the achievement at every continent. I self-congratulate. Are you still coring some of these at least? Well, some of them are got cored. These guys are just going to get hor horrifically overextended. Unless... The only other thing I could do that I can think of is simply transfer occupation to Colonial Peru and uh, <laughs> Moogles B. Because <laughs> these guys look like they're getting their act together a little bit better. And yeah, I can grab the rest of the wood out here in one go. There's really not a lot of wood left to worry about. These guys are, of course, negative stability. Yeah, absolutely. Only upside being they are not that overextended, so, um, although I added to them some more. What is their overextension? Yeah, they're under 100%, at least. And as it happens, so is Brazil. One of the few upsides going on here. Oh, Castile could still, unless these guys um, colonize more. Who's this? Yeah, Portugal's colonizing it, unfortunately. <sighs> I'm feeling the time pressure. Feeling the time pressure a bit. Although, um, these guys, I can just declare imperialism here in bringing in England. Or uh, Great Britain. What else are you allied to? Just cannot. So this isn't a bad opportunity actually to do a stall war on England. I think my dude's still in transit there. Yeah. Because I could uh, I could take all their stuff in Australia and out here. What kind of ship presence are we looking at from them? Oh yeah, they're one of the stronger ship presences in the world, unfortunately for me. But, uh, what's my naval force limit now? Yeah, I, I could throw on, like, 60 heavies or something. That would probably, probably put me out of reach for most. And we don't even have to take that long to do it. Yeah, because then I'll have a ton of heavies. Tier 3 admin efficiency isn't too far off either. Although it looks like Tier 3 admin efficiency is not particularly important to me finishing this per this achievement. Because uh, I th I'm pretty sure I can just grab everything else uh, in one war and not go over 100% anyway. So Tier 3 admin efficiency is mm, not horrible, I guess. That that's plenty of heavies. That's going to cost a lot in maintenance. Uh, yeah, sure. Try and work on a few positive stability events while we're at it. Yeah, and Iraq... Iraq got it done. <laughs> They're like one of my only subjects that actually did anything for me. You know what, I'm going to build that up. Why not? 
can think of a couple of reasons, but it's not that much admin. Yeah. Yeah, with what I'm paying to core, I can probably sneak in Max Heathen Tolerance and really stop worrying about uh, any of my future conquests. But alright, I'm going to stop this video here, and I will see you guys in the next part, or in my stream. I will have about a 5-10 uh, minute break here, but then I will return.